Hey guys, um, this is my panther chameleon, Cheshire. Um, he is a nosy bee, nosy fairy, uh, panther chameleon male. Um, woo, excellent blue. A bit too active right now, just because uh, he always wants to come out of his cage, but he never really gets the chance to. So, obviously, because um, the chameleon is the only, whoop, ugh, the only reptile that I would never let out of the cage, um, unsupervised or alone. You know, you gotta be careful with these guys. Um, a beautiful, beautiful chameleon. You can see he has yellow and red dots all over him. Really, really nice color. He's like a turquoisey sky blue. Um, so, uh, this video, actually, someone requested, uh, they wanted me to do a video on my panther chameleon, so here it is. Um, the thing about chameleons are, I, I'd say, is one of the hardest, it, it would be the hardest category in, whoop, in lizard, uh, in, out of all lizards, I'd say, uh, they're the hardest to take care of just because uh, these guys are from the Madagascar so to mimic their um, I, uh, to mimic their environment is very very important um, I'm only handling him for this video purpose uh, otherwise I would never handle him just, uh, unless I'm changing something or when he's crawling out of his cage and onto my arms which is well, you know obviously and you put him back in. Um, because the reason why you shouldn't handle chameleons is because it really stresses them out. Um, for Cheshire, I'm pretty sure he doesn't really enjoy. He would much prefer uh, grabbing onto something not alive instead of my hand, because as you can tell, he's crawling around everywhere. And um, you know, chameleons obviously are not super handleable animals because. They, um, they're just not something that would stay still, it stresses them out, and, uh, just everything bad about it. Um, some, I'd say, panther, uh, out of your usuals, like Jackson's, Vales, and stuff, they are the nicest, I'd say they're the most docile, because, um, I have veiled and uh, my veils used to just like could jump at me biting um, I have been bitten by Cheshire once but that was only at the beginning when I first don't climb on my face um, it was right when at the very beginning when I first had him and um, he was just being a bit too mean because he didn't know me he was scared you know in the new environment it took him a week um, for him to turn from a dark green back to his normal nice blue color so yeah it did take him a while to get used to his new home um he is a beautiful 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 chameleon uh, i much prefer panthers over veils or any other ones um just because they look beautiful not by their colors but even their features oh, he loves my head i don't know why is it because it's pink or something he just loves crawling onto my head for some reason at all time, every time. You know, if I left the cage door open and I feel something grabbing the back of my head and it's actually just Cheshire climbing out. Um, and uh, basically, uh, these guys, they're hard to keep, definitely, you gotta keep the humidity high, you gotta keep the temperature high, and um, definitely not a handleable reptile for sure. Um, they are good at eating. Uh, if you want something that would just eat something straight out of your hand, uh, other than a bearded dragon, I'd say a uh, chameleon is one of the best that you could choose. Um, and um, they do change colors. They change colors by temperature and environment, but not by camouflaging. So, yeah. That's a lot of questions that people ask me if they change color to camouflage, which they don't. Um, I definitely, definitely would not recommend, whoops, sorry, 
um, a chameleon as a first time reptile? Absolutely. Not even just first time, you know, if you've only had a leopard gecko or a bearded dragon, I really would only suggest a veiled chameleon. You know, you could try give a veiled chameleon a go. I still wouldn't suggest it because they're pretty, um, they're like high intermediate to experienced reptile keeper pets. So, um, definitely, he just loves my head so much. Come on, Cheshire. No head. Not today. Not today. He grabs onto my hair really tightly and it either kind of hurts or it just gets stuck sometimes. So, um, yeah. Uh, definitely, yeah, as I was saying, definitely not a beginner's reptile, just because they're hard to keep, you know, uh, so yeah, guys, um, gotta be very careful with these guys, because they are very, very fragile, um, so, you know, you wanna keep absolutely, absolutely spoil. I absolutely, absolutely spoil Cheshire here, he gets all these gadgets and everything just for sorry guys excuse my dad um anyways um so this is absolutely a experienced chameleon um out of all chameleons they are definitely experienced for experienced people so uh, I definitely would not recommend them uh, but he is beautiful and I love him, Cheshire. Yeah, you're such a good boy. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any more further questions about panther chameleons or any sort of chameleons, that is, uh, please feel free to ask me because I have been taking care of some other chameleons as well. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.